I'm, I'm quite surprised to see a, quite a sizable number of Muslims here in Korea. Did you, were you able to find out some of the reasons that they turned to Islam? Right. A lot of them have, of course, different reasons of how they were first introduced. Uh, many of them I talked to, they first studied it on their own out of curiosity. And after studying it, they um, have peace and joy themselves. Growing numbers of young Australian men and women who are converting to Islam. One of the world's largest religions is gaining followers from a very unlikely community. A growing number of Hispanics are changing their religion and following the teachings of Islam. According to a report by Faith Matters, the UK is seeing a surge in Brits converting to Islam. In the last year, around 5,200 people in Britain converted to Islam. As many as 100,000 have converted in the last decade. It's the world's fastest growing religion, Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Islam remains the fastest growing religion. Islam is the world's fastest growing religion. Census suggests many of them are turning to Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion in all of Canada. Islam is growing faster than ever. Studies suggesting it could eventually become the dominant faith. Artis Polyboyko has the story. The number of Muslims living in Japan, though small, has more than doubled in the past decade. How big Islam has become in Russia's capital. Tens of thousands come to mark Ramadan, so many that some must even pray outside. 5,000 people converted to Islam in the UK. The number of converted Muslims in Norway increased to at least 3,000 in recent years. And why shouldn't they be? Islam is the fastest growing religion in the UK. Despite those statistics, Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. How priests and preachers enter Islam. In the United States, while the Muslim contingent numbers an estimated 7 to 8 million, it's growing rapidly. 20,000 new converts each year, four times as many women as men. Growing numbers of white British women are converting to Islam. I don't know if you're aware, but recently there's been a rise of Latinas converting into Islam. So why are they doing it? Crossing over why so many young Australian men and women are now converting to Islam. What, what prompted your decision to convert to Islam? So what's going on? What is compelling so many young white women to convert to Islam? Amina, Muslim counselor, you converted from Christianity to Islam. Why do you believe Islam is right? Um, I can ask any question of Islam um, and it will give me a logical and scientifically proven answer. The concept of God was very bizarre growing up. I didn't understand how three could equal one. And so when I heard about Islam and they told me about all the attributes of God, it's this like eye opening, I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Converting to Islam, the 100,000 converts now is up from an estimated thousand 10 years ago. The majority are women with an average age on conversion of 27. According to that same population projection, Muslims are the only major religious group expected to grow faster than the global population as a whole. I would like to tell you that Islam is um, amazing. Coming up with a lot of women who are entering Islam at a time when people are saying that Islam is oppressive to women and also the priests, preachers, ministers like myself who have come to Islam great numbers. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. Today, Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim, but her move to Islam... Well, our next guest did just that. After being a Catholic priest in Britain, he left to become a teacher and studied in Egypt where he did Islam and became a Muslim. He is now in Ireland to spread the word of the Quran and he joins us in studio this morning. Good morning to you. Hello, this is Dr. Gerald Dirks, formerly the Reverend Gerald Dirks. In just a few moments, the Dean Show will be talking about my conversion to Islam. Please, don't go away. After going to um, Catholic school for 12 years, my faith needed a little bit more um, depth in it. And I was able to find in it. In Europe and something else is starting to take its place. Muslims will soon outnumber practicing Christians in Europe. As a Christian, I consider this a prophet, but he's a prophet of the one God. There's not several. So as a Christian, I worship Allah. The name exalted over and over in Islam is Jesus. I was told that Jesus is the Messiah who will come back at the end of time 
to establish them of justice and peace. Not Muhammad? Not Muhammad, the Christ, son of Mary. You cannot be a Muslim if you don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. It's in the Quran. I had the idea I should look. And that was the first time that I read the Quran while I was at Bible college. SubhanAllah, the first time I read the Quran, I opened it, just opened it, it fell into uh, uh, Surah, the third chapter, Surah Al Imran. Mm. And I was reading about Jesus. I said, Oh my God, I didn't know Jesus was in this book. Mary, yeah. Zachary, the prophets, all the prophets. And I'm reading their history, you know, the story of their lineage, their ancestry, their, and how God has connected the story. Amazing. Amazing. And I was shocked. Sheikh, I did something I, I would never do today, but I threw the Quran away. I threw it on the table. I threw it because it scared me. Because suddenly I realized from that one short reading, I had another option. And I kept reading. And I kept reading until I got to this verse in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ma'idah. 83 in this in this passage God is talking to the Christian maybe you know this verse the those who are the Christians or who call themselves the Christians when they hear this word of God this this message that is sent to the Rasul to Muhammad when they see that you see their eyes fill with tears a sheikh, my eyes had tears in them when I read that verse. Subhanallah. And it says, they will say, mark me, mark me as a believer, mark me as a shahada, a witness to this truth. And I, knew I was I, a Muslim at that day. I knew I was a Muslim because I knew that the Quran was the word of God because nothing could change me if it wasn't God changing me. I read the Quran and I, I see that thread of the message of God from Adam to Abraham, Moses, David, Saul, all the way through to Muhammad. You go to the Bible and you find the way we pray in Islam. Abraham, Abraham fell face down in the ground, Moses, and Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. Jesus, he fell with to the ground and prayed. What do you as a, a Christian theologian make of the prophethood of Muhammad? Um, do you have any thoughts about that? I do think uh, that Muhammad was a prophet of God and that he was raised up by God and that the Quran is uh, in some way an expression of uh, God's uh, revelation. So I do uh, There will come a time as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Islam will enter into every home, even a home of, even a home of mud, even meaning a tent. There will be a person in that home who is Muslim. In the Sunnah of Imam Ahmed, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, this matter will keep spreading as far as the night and the day reach. And Angela isn't alone in converting them. In fact, an estimated 20,000 Americans each year become Muslims. Now, I used to preach Christianity. And when I came into Islam, there were a lot of things I said, oh, I don't know if I can deal with that. I don't know if I can deal with that. But the brothers would tell me, everything is one step at a time. One step at a time. And the first step is simple. You just repeat after me, I swear, there is no God to worship except my one God, Allah. He has no partners. Now the next part, and I swear that Muhammad is his messenger, Jesus is his messenger. Islam is one of the fastest growing religions in America. A new report by the Pew Forum shows Islam is the fastest growing religion.